Good morning, church. Welcome to Central Online. How are you guys doing today? I am so glad that you have joined us, and we have a lot of great stuff packed into our service today. And before we get to that, I do have a couple things I want to share with you. First of all, grab your calendar and flip over to August 16th. And from 5.30 until 7 on that day, we're going to be having a picnic party on our campus. It's going to be an opportunity to invite everybody to come to hang out together outside. Everybody bring your own picnic and sit down, socially distance, of course, but be able to see one another, to talk, and to catch up, and to see a friendly face or two. We are really excited to be able to do this together. And while you have your calendar out, flip over to the month of September, September 13th. That is going to be the very first time that we're going to have an outdoor service on our own campus. Um, we're very excited to be able to do this. We're going to have more information about this service coming up very soon. All right? So that is all that I have for announcements today. But Beth Bailey has something that she would like to share with you. Hey, Central family. I'm Beth Bailey, and I'm standing here in a spot where most of you have not been for several months. It's the Fellowship Hall here at Central. It does still exist, I promise. I'm going to be talking about our upcoming GAP food packing event here in the Fellowship Hall at Central. If you've been a part of Central for a while, you know that one of the missions that we support is IDES, or International Disaster Emergency Service. And they have a food packing program that focuses on addressing hunger while sharing the gospel around the world. GAP meal bags are put together in an assembly line and sent out to missionaries that partner with IDES. We held an event here last June in partnership with IDES, and because of your generosity and God's faithfulness, we still have a little over $7,000 to use for an event this year. That means we can pack about 28,000 meals. So we've scheduled our event here at Central on Saturday, August 29th but it's gonna look a lot different than last year. We are gonna be doing our best to follow the COVID-related recommendations that have been put in place by our state, the local health department, and IDES. And we're doing this to make sure that you, as our church family, as well as those that are gonna be receiving the meal bags, will be safe and healthy. We understand that not everyone's gonna be ready to come out and gather together quite yet, and that's okay. But if you are ready, there's a few things you have to know. So here we go. Number one, anyone who is age five or older can participate in this event. Two, we're gonna be doing some smaller packing shifts this year instead of one big, large group. This is gonna allow us to stay under the 50 person maximum for our building, as well as sanitizing between shifts and social distancing where possible. So we're gonna be signing up for the first shift that would start at 10 a.m. and go to about noon. As we sign people up and that shift fills, we'll open a second shift that would start at 1 p.m. and go till about 3. Third thing, everyone must bring and wear a mask or facial covering for the entire event. No exceptions. We should all be pretty used to wearing one of these in our state by now anyway, but IDES is also requiring masks for their events this year. So, you gotta mask up. Just think of it as an accessory for your sweet hairnet. Uh, the last thing that I really cannot stress enough is that you have to sign up for this event to participate. I know I've said this in the past and then I've let some of you wiggle in kind of at last minute. You know who you are, but not this year. Since we're limited on how many people we can have in our building, it's absolutely mandatory for you to sign up. In fact, you can't even come into the building on the day of the event if you haven't signed up. But, Beth, how do I sign up if we're not even meeting at the building at all right now? I'm glad you asked that. You need to contact me, Beth Bailey, directly, either by phone or email. And you can get my contact information from the church directory or it will be going out in an all-church email as well. So sign up, sign up, sign up. Speaking of sign ups, did I mention you need to sign up? They start today, August 2nd, and they will close on August 16th. So please make sure you sign up during that time period. Also, I'll need a few people to help me with events um, set up on Friday, August 28th, so just the evening before the event, so you can also sign up with me for that. 
I just gave you tons of information. I kind of wore myself out with all of that. Don't worry if you didn't catch everything. There's going to be an email going out if you're on the church's email list, and it's also going to be posted on our social media, so you can check those places. Obviously, you can call me also if you have any questions. So I look forward to seeing you on Saturday, August 29th, here for the GAP event. Bye!